Hello, and thank you for watching. Coming to you from Delaware. The rest of the family is sleeping and I snuck away to update you on what's been going on lately, some projects I have in the works and things that I've been thinking about, sort of long-term planning type stuff. So if you've been watching, you kind of know that I go between Manhattan, New Jersey, and Delaware. Um, home base is in Manhattan, then I go to New Jersey two days a week, and then we're in Delaware, I'd say every other weekend, maybe one or two weekends a month usually. My husband's dad and family live here in Delaware, so that's why we're here. And what you see kind of around me in this um, second bedroom, third bedroom, is musical instruments, or musical instruments, because my husband's dad is an avocational musician, which is cool. He has a huge collection of musical instruments, so that's what's in the background here. So a couple things, I kind of what I've been working on and what's what's going on with me lately. So my big project for this month is to get my Patreon up and running. I am working on that. My challenge to myself is to put up some, a piece of content over there at least every other day. That's, that's my goal. And right now it's just kind of like a blog, like a private blog I'll write about things that I'm thinking about. Um, what's going on with me, kind of the inside details, like behind the scenes. And I'm thinking on Patreon, I'll have three main topics. I have my personal things that I'm doing, my daily life, uh, my process, etc., things like that. Uh, maybe some family snaps, details about that. Um, and then self-development, things that I'm consuming, the podcasts that I'm listening to, the, if I do, a if I'm working with someone if, as a coach or if someone's working, I guess, if I am taking a course or doing something, so, sort of my process in personal development and how I keep learning and adjusting kind of to help myself grow more and expand. And then health and fitness stuff, because I love hearing about people's health and fitness routines. I'm kind of, that's something that I do a lot of, and it's something that I would really enjoy sharing. I do a lot of cooking, um, just kind of by default. So sharing things like that. Um, over on the Patreon. So check it out if you're interested. I'll try to insert a few um, screenshots as well because I'm I'm really having fun there. So hopefully if you'd be interested, you can come join. So that's thing one. The other thing that I'm really working on is thinking about the next five to 10 years because I have realized kind of looking back on my life, the things that I was really intentional about and that I planned out 10 years ago have come to pass now. And it's taken 10 years for those things to happen, but they've happened and I couldn't be more happy and thrilled and grateful and content with the results that I've generated from that those 10 years of, of work. An intentional thought process and coaching and therapy and affirmations and all the things that I was doing to bring into reality these specific things, namely in terms of family and growing, um, my relationships on that side and becoming the kind of person to attract the relationship that I want. So that's what I was working on. That's something that's come to pass from the past 10 years. Looking forward, I'm thinking about the next five years and I've kind of got some top level goals. In the next five years, I would like very much to still be happily married. <laughs> that's number one. And I want to, again, continue to be a mom, um, a wife and mom that I'm that I'm proud of, that I want to be. So that's that's number two. Number three is I want to expand my income, and I want to be the type of person that is comfortable with an expanded income. And this is the process. Like I am not there yet. This is something that I'm working on, and I also realize that I'm working against a whole generational line of women who have not been comfortable, who who've not had any earning power, and that's something that I am changing it now. <laughs> It is a slow and sort of slogging, painful process, but it's something that I am committed to. And I'm like, if it takes the next five to 10 years, I am okay with that. But that is something I'm very intentional about. And there's all sorts of mindset work and specific sort of intentional uh, affirmations and changing, releasing lies and accepting and identifying and accepting the truth about my situation. So uh, the truth about who I am as a person and what I want to bring into my situation more specifically. So that's the second thing that I've really been thinking about the next 10 to 15 years, or I say five to 10 years, because in terms of parenting, I know parenting isn't for everyone. <laughs> it's very expensive, it's very time consuming, it's, it's exhausting. It's a job that I've signed up for. It's a job that I currently have by the grace of God, because not everyone gets that job and not everyone wants that job. <laughs> so there it is. And I'm, at that, I could do a whole other video on that. It's something that I am so grateful and thankful for. It does mean that 
I have other responsibilities and to prepare for my child to need me for the next three years, need me intensely for at least the next three years. They're, they're gonna need you the rest of their lives. That's just the reality of it. Ideally, they will be independent and they will need you in other ways. <laughs> That's the goal. But for the next three years, I'm going to be needed fairly intensely. So I want to have that in mind and then be preparing and enhancing, maintaining and enhancing my skill set to the level that when I am no longer as intensely needed in the next three years, three to five years, my child is in school, if there are any more when they are in school, that I will be ready to expand, but also gaining more freedom over my time. So again, this is all under the category of the next five to 10 years of what I'm seeing for myself. And in 10 to 15 years, my husband and I have a plan that you, we will be scaling down work. That's the goal as far as his financial independence, retire early work goes, significantly working on amassing um, capital so as to need work less, to be less dependent on work for pay. So that's the plan long term is to decrease my lifestyle to the point where my needs, my financial needs are less. My capital is greater so that eventually we can live off of the interest and again work becomes optional that's the overall goal so that's kind of as again ideally my skill set grows and um, expand into other work opportunities always keeping in mind that I want time freedom that's sort of number one if anyone hasn't read it I, I um, I've read the book The Millionaire Fast Lane which really advocates the sense framework in regard to starting business which is ideally where you're work is not tied to your time. That's that's something that I very much want is for my work not to be tied to my time. So, which is difficult, but I have that in my mind, which is why, again, thinking about the next 10 to five, five to 10 years, I would love to do something in the healthcare related field. I, you know, I trained as an EMT and I have that training and I really enjoyed it, but healthcare field is very much tied. The majority of healthcare positions are tied to your location right you have to physically be in a location in order to do those jobs so for that reason I'm kind of not considering that as much as a career because I'd like to, I want to be able to travel anywhere to work remote work from anywhere so that's that's the overall goal and that's why I've kind of moved away from careers in the health considering as I think about professional development careers in that particular arena the area of sort of like bedside hands-on in-person medical care so that's that section again thinking about the next five to ten years so all that to say that's kind of what I'm working on and if I have like 20 minutes free like what do I do with my time <laughs> I work in like these 20 minute snatches that I can take when my child is asleep and we don't have any family um, obligations and I have the mental sort of capacity to think about these things so that's what I've been thinking about lately I have my planner in front of me I'm sitting down to do some planning work and We'll work on that. I'll let you, I mean, and I'm, I'm about to actually do a, to write a post on Patreon about things that I'm listening to, things that I'm loving, what I'm taking from them and how I'm using them in development. So that's what I'm thinking about. But I'll leave you with kind of this, this last thing. Um, Kelly Smith, uh, really a good friend over on um, Freedom in a Budget, posted in her, her Facebook group about a, a realization moment that she had where she realized that she's exactly where she wanted to be five years ago. And that's kind of what's been driving my work lately is that I realize that I am exactly where I wanna be, where I would have wanted to be five years ago. In 2018, the person that I am today in the situation that I am is exactly where I would have wanted to be. And if I could have fast forwarded from 2018 to 2023, I would have done it. I would have done it in a heartbeat because I love the situation I'm in, the person I am and the things that I'm doing right now. So, I kind of use that as a template moving forward and I, I want to use that even more powerfully to say, okay, given again the ups and downs, some things didn't work out, some things worked out better than I could have even ever hoped. So using that as a way to kind of release the outcome, but know that the person that I've become has turned into this, this person that I'm really enjoying. So just using that, that as fuel in my planning forward. So that's what I got for you. That's what's happening right now. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to hear. I love kind of hearing your suggestions and I love sharing things that you might want to know about. Um, so that's where we are right now. Um, thank you as always for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye. 
Here is a sneak peek of my Patreon. You can see these are the different tags that I have for the content available, personal, there's a download, and then info on my credit card debt, and things that make me happy. Just, I wrote about things that make me happy. Um, you'll see my story of credit card debt and how I got out. Uh, there's a transformation workbook that you can download on Patreon. And then I have a post on just day-to-day -day life. So that's the content I have up right now and more content is added daily.